This is the 207 update for the Stream Deck MIDI plugin. If you haven't watched the 206 update video, there is a link in the description below. This update includes some uh, uh, bug fixes for the Mac control action, and the most important one is a problem in the Mac OS environment where custom fader images wasn't handled correctly. Uh, that problem should be corrected with this update. And apart from that, the note on off action has some new features when used for control and articulation. If you in Cubase use expression maps, or if you in Logic Pro use articulation sets, the plugin can now read those files directly and you have the same articulations available in the plugin. So let's have a look at it. The, the plugin is slightly changed to allow for these new features. Before you had ready buttons for middle C and articulation and that is changed to a drop down because we have some new features. If you use the articulation in the previous versions where you created an XML file yourself, you can still use that uh, if you select the generic articulation in this dropdown. But let's see what's happened when we say we want to use a Cubase Nuendo expression map. We can select a file, an expression map file, and let's select the cell -like core techniques. We will get a list of articulations uh, from that expression map, but there are question marks in front. And if we load the same expression map in Cubase, I will show why there are question marks on those articulations. So let's load that same articulation file in Cubase. And what we can see is we all have all the articulations, the same articulations that we have in the plugin, but there are no remote keys assigned to the articulations, so we can't actually control them. And that's why there are question marks in the plugin to indicate that the articulation cannot be controlled because there is no remote key assigned. So if we just assign some keys, to show what it has looked like, like that. And if we look in the plugin, nothing has changed. And that is because when you do changes in the, in the expression map in Cubase or Nuendo, those changes are saved with the project. But the file that we used to read the expression map is not changed. And that is the file the plugin use. So if we save those changes to the same file that we loaded them from, we replace yes. And now we have those two articulations where we assigned keys are available for use in the plugin. So if you want to use all of them, uh, you need to assign keys to all of them. That's basically it. There's one small other change in the plugin. Uh, if you select one of the articulation choices in the dropdown, the default note on velocity is set to 127 instead of 64, I think it is, for the uh, normal note on action. I, I think 127 is more appropriate when using articulation. So that's the, the change for Cubase. Now, if we look at the same thing for Logic Pro, we add a note on off action, and we say that we want to read a Logic Pro articulation set and load a file. We can take the base clarinet file articulation set, and we do the same thing in Logic. We uh, load the bass clarinet articulation and have a look at it. 
We have a number of articulations uh, defined in that articulation set, and the same articulations are available uh, in the plugin with question marks uh, in front. And the question marks is because there are no remote keys assigned to uh, those articulations. So if we add some keys like that, there are still no change here, because we need to save those changes to the same file as we loaded them from. Save and replace. And we need to refresh the plugin. Now we have the articulations uh, that we have assigned keys to are enabled in the plugin. So if you need to use all the articulations in the articulation set, you need to assign keys to all of them. That's it for this update. Thanks for watching.